Buongiorno. Spaghetti. Uh, 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 latte. Cappuccino. I don't know anymore. Aurora. Aurora. Indeed, that's what we're playing with today. Optima. Optima. <laughs> what did you think of yours? Oh, this was a very grand pen. It's very it's... beautiful. We both we both had blue, slightly yeah. different mm -hmm. furniture. The pattern on this, it's celluloid, right? It's antique celluloid. Antique celluloid. Yes. So that's like an extra like special. Yeah. That's the first thing that caught my eye with these pens. The cap and the and the, the barrel, it's just I don't know. It's, it, it's not that it really shows in the light differently. The pattern changes and it's just this beautiful marbling. It kind of reminded me of like soap operas. Like there's always like the Do wealthy tell. people mm -hmm. and they, I don't know, I could just see this sitting on like someone's desk in like a soap opera. You're like, Karen, I need to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, our second or third? Third piston filler we've had? Mm. I guess that Third doesn't really matter. One thing, I had filled mine up. These have like an ink window. This one's empty right now, but mm. I had, I did it once. Then I looked and I'm like, it, there's no ink. Like, does should the ink come below the ink window? Yes. Or is that just there as a pretty clear part of the pen. Mm -hmm. So I had to do it, you know, Multiple three or times. four times in order to get all the ink up. So if you're using a piston, make sure you're doing it a couple of times yep. to fully fill the pen. Fully get the beautifulness of the ink in that window. And then you know when you're running out. Tell me about the nibs. <laughs> These nibs are 14 karat. They come in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. I thought it was pretty nice. We, I had a fine. I don't know what you had. Yes, Did, I also had. You a had fine. a fine. Being a fine, uh, it wasn't super scratchy. I think because the European nibs are a little bigger. Yeah, I felt like the nib was really big. The distance be interesting to measure, like the distance like between, nib. like where the section begins mm -hmm. and where the nib point actually is. It feels very long, very, like I said, very grand. The fact that you say that too, on top of that, the the section on this felt meatier. When I was writing this, the very first thing I noticed as soon as I started writing, mm -hmm. the section was a little, a little has a little more diameter, or diameter, diameter. What does that even mean? <laughs> diameter than most other sections that I've played with. It was just a little bit bigger. Didn't bother me too much, but I noticed it right away. Yeah, it's a screw cap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it does have no no beloved snap cap for you. No snap cap this week, but Still it does have nice. the threads. The threads are very subtle. Like uh, there's no step really. The threads aren't super deep but yet the cap still goes on very nice. I posted this, did you post it? I did both and I, and I oh. felt like either either was nice. For colors, Hope so we had the, the blue with gold yes. and is it chrome? R rhodium, yeah, rhodium. rhodium. And then we have black with yes. the gold and the rhodium as well. Then we have the green. The green and a nice red yes. with rhodium. I believe we also do have a one called the I remember this name, Nerla Perla, which is like black pearl. Mm. I really like the blue with the gold. I don't know, that's really hard to pick between those two blue ones actually. I feel like I would need both. You would need both. I, but that's just my personality <laughs> apparently. Just give me old pens. Do they ever do special editions? They do actually. Okay. We have one of Lisa's fine special editions Ooh, right here. This is the, uh, the 75th anniversary and I just noticed this actually right there on the on the clip cap. I guess there was oh, a couple yeah. 75th anniversaries. This was just one of them. So I guess they do them every now and then, every like year or so they come out with some kind of a special. Nice. I do remember when we were trying to figure out what nib size we had. We had trouble oh. finding that yes. information. This, this, let's reenact. Where is the nib what size? What nib size is this? It's not It's not on the it side. It doesn't say it anywhere. It's not straight on. How should we know? What the heck? This, what is going on with this? Me oh, there it is. It's on it's the right back. It's right back there. It's on the back. It's, it's on, on the on feed. the back. And you would think that would be weird as far as like when you you know, you know have ink on your nib or something, you wouldn't be able to see it. The way it's on there, it's, it's not it, embossed or anything, but it's like, it's very easy to see stuff. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I no, I haven't either. That. I don't think all Aurora pens do that. I think yeah. that's the only one, I think. Don't yeah. quote us on that. Yes. <laughs> never quote Nib News. That's right. Never <laughs> quote the Nib News. Jason? Yes. So you've copied what I was going to wear today? I think you copied me. What time nope. did you get up? 6.15. Hmm. Do you get dressed immediately? Yes. Okay, then I copied you. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Please forgive me. <laughs> Nip noobs.